On December 4th, 2015, First Bank Nigeria launched the much talked about Fiesta of Flavor. Holding at the Harbour Point in Victoria Island, Lagos, the event saw the likes of the First Lady of Lagos State, Bolanle Ambode, incoming Chairman First Bank Nigeria, Ibukun Awusika, and incoming Deputy Managing Director First Bank, Francis Benga Shobo, and a number of other dignitaries in attendance. Now, the world-class food and beverage exhibition is the first of its scale and caliber in West Africa. A part of the activities at the event was a discussion panel after which the First Lady went to cut the ribbon and attended a cooking demonstration. Our First Lady, thank you for your very kind words. We celebrate the visionary Yemen Zakios and all protocols observed as we say in Nigeria. We're going to hit right into the panel discussion. And we have a very distinguished panel here who have extensive experience in agriculture. As my good friend, uh, Inka Kibu, introduced the issue of food, he said we have about 200 million in Nigeria. Well, think 30 years from now, and the estimate is that we're going to have 450 million by 2050 in Nigeria, and Lagos will have 15 million. So what keeps me up at night, and a lot of us on this panel, is what will they eat? and who is going to feed them. And that's why I think Mrs. Zakios is a visionary, because you're thinking, 450 million, what would they eat? And I would like to start at the bottom of the value chain with the producer himself and processor, who has probably been in this sector longer than all of us. Just share with us what the key uh, interventions you have made are, and what opportunities you see exist. I'll start first with, I'll correct Ninka, I'm not the biggest cassava person. I do cassava, I do rice, I do soya, and I do maize. I believe that the problem with agriculture in Nigeria is manifold. Basically, everybody wants to talk about a value chain. It does not exist, is the truth. You can make everything that you want to do half-heartedly, sloppily, in half measures and continue and assume that you're doing something. The truth is, the whole of life is based on simple engineering model. Input, process, output. Now unless you have surpluses in input, you're wasting time along that thing they call the chain. So we all need to go back, put your hands to the coal face and deal with the true problem, which is to create enough surplus to make the chain meaningful. Okay, you, you've been at this for a while. Um, you're not only producing chi uh, growing chicken, now you're actually retailing through Chicken Republic. And you're also in the bread industry. So what opportunities have you been able to capitalize on? And is there any good news on the food front? Um, on our side, we, um, as you know, on the front end, we produce or uh, sell chicken through Chicken Republic outlets and we later backward integrated into chicken farming and um, also in the bakery business we do bread. Speaking with the incoming First Bank Chairman Mrs. Awoshika about why they decided to be party to the event, here is what she had to say. Could you please tell us uh, why did First Bank choose to get involved in the Festival of Flavors? Well, if you've listened to um, the positioning of the current government, you will realize that first and foremost, our positioning with the oil and gas sector is not sustainable because there's certain industries that have existed before oil and will continue to exist after oil for the simple reason that man has been eating since man was created. So food is a vital element of our humanity. And within what you call food, it sounds simple, but there's a whole value chain of businesses and industries. 
ways and services that are related to it. And as a business, as a bank, our interest is in finding the businesses within that value chain, being a supporter of building those industries, and using our investment in those industries to help build the economy of our nation. When we have a thriving economy within the nation, the bank prospers as well. And when you realize that First Bank has traditionally been a strong retail bank, and we have traditionally invested in the development of industries in Nigeria, there's no other bank that's 121 years old. There's no bank that existed before the nationhood of Nigeria who has had the opportunity to help build the nation from the scratch. And we are realigning ourselves in the place of our strength and also helping to build the future of what Nigeria is. And Fiesta of Flavors offers a platform to help bring all the different, the old and the new industries within the food subsector together. And you can see you have the traditional farm-like products, you have uh, middle stage processed products, you have end products in real food, consumed food, you have technology food players, as in you have the tent of apps where you have a lot of young people who are developing apps to help sell different foods from different areas. They're part of the food value chain and they're adding value. You have the food bloggers who are communicating and uh, exchanging ideas concerning food and you have uh, people who have different kinds of ma machinery that can help with the processing of the food. So it's a complete chain. For us, that's where we should be because every single tent you see here has multiple businesses attached to it. And our interest is to help enhance the development of all of those industries in a way that we help to develop our great nation called Nigeria. A lot of treats were up for sale and the guests were also treated to a variety of other activities offered by the organizers. A couple of guests also spoke to Pulse TV exclusively and here's what they have to say. What do you think of the Fiesta of Flavors? I mean, it's a good start. You know, it's just a good time to be able to, you know, like, those of us who are like on the private chef side, we kind of know each other, but we really get that chance to actually just come together and you know just do something or just even just generally just meet around. So I think it's gonna be a great time tomorrow. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great three days, definitely for sure. All right, all right, all right nice, nice, nice. Ten potatoes growing on a tree. If you take out five, how many are left? Potatoes on a tree. Potatoes growing in the ground, dude. Chop knuckle. Are you scared? No. I'm at a food fest. You love food. Yeah. You love meat, to eat meat? Yeah. Roasted barbecue meat? Yeah. Spell barbecue for me. B-A-R-B-A-C-U-E. Chub knuckle. I have 10 potatoes growing on a tree. If you take out five, how many are left? Five. Say it again. I feel like this is some kind of trip, trip question. I have 10 potatoes growing on a tree. If you take out five, how many are left? Five. Chop knuckle. <laughs> I'm not feeling very confident about this. What does ATM stand for? ATM. Do you actually know that I actually don't know? As I know ATM is where you get your cash machine. But if you ask me the full meaning of ATM, I actually have no living idea. And that's the honest truth. Honestly. Automatic. I don't know. I have no living idea. You know what? Telephone, telephone. No, no, automatic telephone. What? No, cause no, don't even put that in my head. It's not. <laughs> no, I actually have no idea what ATM is. You started. You started well. You started well. You started well. No, I'm not gonna try because I actually don't know. If I know, then I will try. I chop knuckle. Uh, okay. So what does it mean anyway? What does ATM mean? Automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. I've been educated. <laughs> we aim to educate, not humiliate. Uh -huh. That's what I do. Fiesta of Flavor by First Bank Nigeria was an event that won't be forgotten in a long time. Stay tuned for more on day two and day three of this event.